Taking 10 minutes for becoming born again, born of the Spirit. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15, 22. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Colossians 3, 10. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. John 17, 11 B. This is the ninth in the series uh, of the Taking 10 Minutes for. This one is being born again. We must be born again. We're going to jump right into the scriptures. John 3, 1 through 7. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher. Come up from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of the water and the Spirit. Notice the capital S. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit, and again there's that capital S, Spirit, is Spirit. Marvel not, I say unto thee, ye must be born again. And again, that's from John 3, 1, 7. Jesus Christ talking to Nicodemus. Why must we be born again spiritually? Because our flesh is born in the fallen image of Adam. Now we covered that in the fifth in the video says, uh, series on the fall of mankind and the world. Uh, and that's good background for this. Here's a picture from that series. Mankind is born in the fallen image of Adam. Our bodies are mortal. Our souls are eternal, though. Our spirits are dead. We are spiritually born separated from God. We're in bondage to our bodies and the flesh with sin reigning in our lives. Without that spiritual center in us, we are sin-filled in the center of our lives, and we are self-centered. We are spiritually dead. And also in this universe, it's a universe of death and decay. We see all around it today. And Satan rules over the earth. And that's the fallen place that we find ourselves in as human beings. Sin reigning in our lives. Who can make us born again? And bring us into a new existence. Jesus says unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. You'll find that in John, in 14, John 14, 6. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to, the, to be the Savior of the world. And that, of course, is the Apostle John saying that in 1 John 4, 14. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead. Here we have Peter talking to the Sanhedrin in Jerusalem about Jesus Christ. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given to man whereby we must be saved. You'll find that in Acts 4, 10 through 12. Jesus is the Savior of mankind who alone can rebirth us spiritually into the life and into the relationship God had intended mankind to be in from the beginning of his creation. Again, see the video 7 and video 8 about Jesus Christ where he tells us who he was, who he is, and who he will be. Also see in video 8 when Jesus taught, is given the title of the Lamb of God and what that means for us as far as the salvation on the cross, taking our sins upon himself. How can we be born again? 
What action do we have to do to be born again? Hebrews 11.6 says the following, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Notice there, we have faith and belief in this same passage of Scripture. It's the same word, essentially. You have faith, you have belief. It's used interchangeably throughout the Bible. But that is the key. To become born again, we must have faith and believe. What must we believe? It's provided here in Romans 10, 9 through 10. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with his mouth he conf a confession is made unto salvation. So confession and faith is all salvation demands of us. That's all the Bible tells us we need to do to secure our foundation, to secure that born-again status. For by grace we are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift from God, not of our works. Let any, boast, let any man should boast. We say that in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Only thing we need to do is have faith. Jesus Christ did it all on the cross for us. That was the salvation work. The passion of Christ, where his blood was shed for the remission of our sins at the cross, where he took your sins and nailed them as far as the east is from the west. Again, see video 8. What happens when we are born again is a big question. There's a change that occurs. There's wondrous things that happen to us, all in that moment of belief, of that moment of confession. This is what Jesus Christ does for us. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. You see that in Ephesians 1, 7. We have got sin inherently in us from the beginning of life. And Jesus takes that away from us, takes our sins. In whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believe, there's the word belief again, belief is tied to this, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit, capital S, of promise. You see that in Ephesians 1, 13. But you're not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. And that's who we are. We are spiritual beings now. That capital S is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit seals us, and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. And that Holy Spirit sealing us means that our salvation was secured, vouchsafed for us in heaven. For the time that we die or are raptured up, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit and known to be children of God. But here's more. But as many as received him, to them he, he powers to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name. There's that belief again. Receiving him, believing him, same thing there. Now you are the body of Christ. So we become sons of God. We become the body of Christ. We also become the bride of Christ as the church. And amen to that. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Now what does that mean? New creation well, we'll have to go back to our other videos and see the full meaning of that. But we'll jump forward and look at this. This is what you become. From that fallen state we talked about in volume number three of the video, five of the video series, here we are. We are born again, a new creation unto God. We are born as spiritual beings who can relate to God and be in relationship with God. That the very core of it are once dead center of our existence. Our spirit is now quickened, made alive by Jesus Christ. This God interface is restored in us by the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit seals and guides us and centers our life on God-focused things. We are also given uncorruptible new bodies upon death when we are born again. Our souls and our spirits are then made eternal. Previously it was just the soul, but now we have eternal spirits 
that carry on with us after we leave this corporal frame. Also, in the life on earth, Satan still can attack the body and soul. However, Satan cannot attack the spirit. Your spirit is secured. You cannot be separated from the love of God and the Holy Spirit's stamp and seal upon your life. And hallelujah, amen to that. Critical teaching points. We must be born again in the spirit to please God. Mankind is broken and made in the fallen image of Adam. Jesus alone can change that state and make us spiritually born again. What's it take from us? We must be born again. Two must be born again. We must confess and believe Jesus is Lord who died and rose again on that third day. Once born again, marvelous things happen to us as we enter into a spiritual walk in relationship with Jesus Christ. We are completely cleansed of our sins. We're sealed and indwelled for eternity by the Holy Spirit. We become adopted sons of God and we become a part of the body of Christ and the church, which is the bride of Christ. We are new creations in Christ because we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Our sins are no longer seen. Our sins that were as red as scarlet are now as white as snow. And we join in a personal relationship with God, with the Holy Spirit indwelling us. And if you can't say hallelujah and amen to that, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you need to get out and you need to pray to the Lord to fire you up a little bit. That's the lesson for today. May God bless you richly and reward you as you study his word. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you.